Our objective is to determine the flow rates of various points in the water pipe system constructed from galvanised iron pipe with the inlet at 400 k per gauge and all exits at atmospheric pressure while neglecting minor losses. Step 1. Understand the problem. The problem involves a water pipe system with an inlet pressure of 400 k per gauge and outlets at atmospheric pressure. The system is made of galvanised iron pipes with different lengths and diameters. We are asked to find the flow rates Q0, Q1, Q2, Q3 and Q4. Minor losses are to be neglected. Step 2. Use the Bernoulli equation and continuity equation since minor losses are neglected. We can use the Bernoulli equation along with the continuity equation to solve for the flow rates. The Bernoulli equation, in the absence of height differences in pumps or turbines, simplifies to considering the pressure drop due to friction. The continuity equation will help us relate the velocities and flow rates in different sections of the pipe system. Step 3. Calculate the pressure drop due to friction. The pressure drop due to friction in a pipe can be calculated using the Darcy minus Weisberg equation. Delta P equal to F times L divided by D times rho V2 divided by 2. Where minus delta P is the pressure drop, minus F is the friction factor which can be found using the Moody Charter approximations like the Swami minus Jane equation for fully turbulent flow. Minus L is the length of the pipe, minus D is the diameter of the pipe, minus rho is the density of the fluid. Minus V is the velocity of the fluid in the pipe. Step 4. Relate flow rate to velocity. The flow rate Q can be related to the velocity V by the equation. Q equal to a times V. Where is the cross minus sectional area of the pipe? For a circular pipe, it equal to pi times D divided by 2 2. Step 5. Apply the continuity equation for branching pipes for any node where the pipe branches. The sum of flow rates entering the node equals the sum of flow rates leaving the node. For example, if Q0 splits into Q1 and Q2 then Q0 equal to Q1 plus Q2. Step 6. Solve for flow rates given that all exits are at atmospheric pressure and the inlet is at 400 k per gauge. We can set up equations for each section of the pipe system using the pressure drop due to friction from step 3 and the relationship between flow rate and velocity from step 4. We will have a system of equations that can be solved simultaneously to find the flow rates Q0, Q1, Q2, Q3 and Q4. Step 7. Consider the specifics of the pipe system given the lengths and diameters of the pipes. Calculate the cross-minus sectional areas for each pipe section. Use these areas along with the given lengths and diameters to calculate the pressure drops and relate them to the inlet pressure to solve for the velocities and, subsequently, the flow rates. Step 8. Solve the system of equations using the equations derived from steps 3, 4 and 5. Solve the system of equations for the unknown flow rates. This may require iterative methods or numerical solutions, depending on the complexity of the equations and the friction factor calculations. Step 9. Check the results. Ensure that the calculated flow rates are physically reasonable and check that they satisfy the continuity equation at each branching point of the system. Also, verify that the pressure at each outlet is atmospheric, as per the problem statement. Note, the actual numerical solution would require specific values for the friction factor, which depends on the Reynolds number and the relative roughness of the pipe. Since these values are not provided, the steps above outline the general approach to solving the problem.